another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason. I'm just so honored a little that you tuned in again this week. Amen. Uh, we yeah. have my aunt and uncle, Prophetess Brenda and Minister Joel Thomason here. We've been talking about the power of praise and worship. Yeah. Um, last week, um, we, were, we were talking and you were talking about um, the, the stroke that, that you had experienced. But we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, we would, like we do, do always, we always open up with a word of prayer. Yes, Lord. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing. I thank yes. you for your presence, Father yes. God. Lord, I, I pray for those that are watching, Father God, that, that even, in a, even in the midst of the Lord, that, that, you, that you will bring healing, yes. that you will yes. do miracles, Father God, yes. in the name of Jesus. So, yes. Father God, we thank you in advance for moving by your spirit in the lives of the hearers yes. and those that are watching. Thank you. We ask that you will continue to get the yes. glory and out of everything that we say and do. Yes. And we thank you that the devil is bound. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, um, last week we was talking about praise and worship and, and the power behind it and, and, and what it takes. And, it's not so much, it's just being gifted and talented is not enough if you yes. want to experience a, uh, the, a move of God or the yes. glory. But when we were talking, um, you said that you, you had had a stroke. In, in 1989, mm -hmm. I, I was woken up in the morning and I looked down at myself and I was all twisted on this right side. The Holy Spirit began to speak in tongues inside of me. I didn't even open my mouth. It was like an encounter. Mm -hmm. And I watched my body go back into place. Mm -hmm. So you know what? It's a lot of people that don't believe in speaking in tongues, but God improved something to me. Yeah. You, when you know that you know, yeah. can't nobody talk you out of what no, you know. That's right. Yes. Can't I can't be talked out of uh, what I know. Yeah. And I know that the benefits, and even doing praise and worship, there is a place where uh, if you got that type of audience where people are uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit, they can all sing in the Spirit. Yeah. And I'm telling you that angels will get involved. Yes. Mm. yes. Healings will take place. Yes. Because I'm telling you, you're in a, another dimension, another yeah. realm of the That's spirit. Right. That's definitely and right. I've been in services where, whew, I'm telling you, yeah. where everybody was singing in the spirit. Yeah. And you could hear, like, other voices. Yeah. Wow. And the angels get involved with you. Yeah, that's right. So uh -huh. that's another dimension. God wants his people to go take the limits off. Take yeah. the limits off of what God wants to do now. Yeah. That's the key. He yes. wants to take us there. Yeah, I, you know, I I, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that, uh -huh. and and the the angels join in. I mean, because really, God has an atmosphere. Yeah, you know, the the angels the angels are singing. You know, when the Bible speaks about the throne of God, when 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 in in the book of Revelation, and the angel called John and said, "Come up, come mm -hmm. up." Yeah, and mm -hmm. he came up, mm -hmm. and when he and when he began to look. He, he saw lightning, thunder, and voices. Yeah. Lightning, thunder, and voices. And voices. Yeah. So there, there's, there was light, there was sound, yeah. and there was voices. Yeah. A voice can make a sound, but a voice is not a sound. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, <laughs> it, 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 so in God's, that's all in God's atmosphere, was, was lets us know that even God has an atmosphere. Oh, yeah. So, so when, when you tap into the spirit, 
and get in his presence and then you're ministering what you're what you're what the Holy Spirit is helping you to do he's helping you helping you to align in with the same um, atmosphere yes. that he's yeah, accustomed he's to accustomed. Yeah. yeah so that he Custom will come medicine. and sit in right. in your home in yeah. your service and yeah. then he's free to move Ooh, and then yeah. that's when you step into the administration of the prophetic or the yeah. administration yeah. of healing the administration yeah. of miracles but why because you're only you're only the you're you're not laying hands or doing anything. Yeah. All you're doing is just saying what he's doing, and he's yeah, allowing you to see it. Yeah. And that's when the angels um, work. Get involved. They get yeah. involved. Yes, they do. Yeah. I believe he, healing angels are yeah. released. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. And one thing about it, that's why I say in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth. He's seeking yeah, those who are in that dimension. Yeah. Yes. In his world. Yes, yes. You have to go there. Yes. Where you won't do praise and worship for yeah, real. Yeah. Yes, yes. And they say truth is what reality. Yes. In yeah. his reality. Yes. So. Because I think I think what's gonna happen to even a lot of the artists out there, that money thing has got involved so much that they really blinded them from really getting into true worship. It's all about a business now. It's all about a business. And, that got to be done, and then when you you can you can just put all that and put God right out of the picture. See, and I think that's what's gonna happen to a lot of them. You don't put God right out of the, out of the picture. The thing is, is seeking God's heart. I don't know why I, I I say that all the time. Seeking His heart for what He want and what He wants you to do. Because it's about intimacy. Yeah, that's it's about relationship. Yep. Yes. Relationship. Yes. Yes. You don't even have to pray long. You no, got a relationship. No. Was Elijah? Elijah didn't pray long no, prayers. I take, no, because no, it was did. because of relationship. relationship. That's right. In your relationship, you become a friend of God. Yeah. Because when me and my wife is in prayer at home, I, cause I always play the keyboard when we when we go in prayer, and sometimes it's just such, it's such a breakthrough. We don't have to do, and we don't have to say it a lot. So I just started playing. Sometimes God give me some things, and we. And, and, and we get a breakthrough right there in the home because we do it every day. Me and my wife pray. We, we have a certain time that we pray every day because that's what God, during this pandemic, God put us in that realm to start praying every day. Both you and your wife start praying every day. And that's what we've been doing. We don't miss a day. It's been a difference. And it's, it's, been been a, difference. it's been a difference in my life. It's been a difference. It's just been a difference in our home. I'm telling you, because prayer is the key. That goes to all you minstrels, all you want, ones that want to be minstrels. If you think you want to be a musician or want to be in a word, a, a word movement or a, a faith movement church, you need to stay in God's presence. That's the key. Because this thing is not about you. No, it's not. It's not about no, it's you. Not. It's about God using you for what his purpose is. And it's all about him. That's what we got to get to the, back to the point. It ain't about us being great. No. It ain't about us because I never worried about being great. I wrote songs and everything. I, you know, I did this and did that, but I never had the, I never had that the thing that I want to be so great. You know, I always wanted just to please the Lord, and God always opened doors. That I want to please Him. That's what I want to do. That's what musicians got to do. I want to please the Lord. It's all on what you want. You can go as high in God as you want. It's what you want. So, so, so in your time of of prayer, and just worshiping the Lord when you do you ever you ever get to that place of stillness yes oh yes yes in him do. what what is that what is that so you know the Bible says and I believe it's in um, Psalms 46 and 10 it says be still and know, know that I am God yes. um, in Isaiah it says they that wait on the, the Lord, Lord shall, yeah. shall renew yes. their strength so that that place of getting still him what did he say to David he said he led me beside the still still waters, still waters wow. that place yeah. of stillness yes. so it, so to you because the um, the Holy Spirit's dealings with all of us is different, it's different right? when yeah. you've gotten to that still that place of stillness what is that what is that like? Well, a lot of times, like when he when he's playing, and he'll get still with it, and I I can sense the stillness. Yeah. And I and I and I sh I shut down and I just listen. Yeah. Because when you listen, then you can hear, hear him God better. Is saying. Yeah. Hear him better. Yeah. And and I have a like a a, a seek anointing, and I know his angels are in the room. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know they're in the room. They're in the room, yeah. Especially when we come in that stillness, I know they're in the yes, room. Yes, yes. And 
it's just, it's just, and the presence of the Lord is so precious. Yeah. Yes. See, that's how when God gave me that His vision presence. I was telling you about, when he gave me that vision, we had got still when I was playing, and we had got still, and the Lord gave me that vision. I never, he never, that's the first time I ever had, really had a vision that God gave me that. It was like just, because we were still, we was in the stillness at the time during our prayer. We had been praying, and the Lord gave me that vision. You just, sometimes you just got to relax and let, and let him work. Just stay in his presence. Just sit there and stay in his presence. And the thing about the stillness, the Holy Spirit leads you yeah. into that yes. place yeah. of stillness. It's, it's just like um, uh, uh, when it speaks about in uh, Ezekiel where it says that he, he, he led him into the waters. Yeah. He led him ankle deep, mm -hmm. knee deep, yeah. waist yeah. deep. Then he got so far in it where he is, he couldn't touch. He yeah. couldn't. He had no control. His 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 control. His his him being able to stay where he was was base was in the control of the one that was pulling him. Totally yeah. dependence on yeah. him, on God. Yeah. That the, that um that dependence and getting into that place of stillness and also that what this also teaches us is that when you press in and you get into that place of stillness. That's when God's presence comes yeah. and his angels comes. But what happens, sometimes we stop there when God is actually saying, no, come on. Come on in. Yeah. Come on and go on deeper. Yeah. Yeah. I want to show you more. Yeah. I want to, yeah. you know, so the so even in that place of stillness, you just keep pressing yeah. in. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be able to experience yes. more. Because yeah. uh, in um, when it speaks about Solomon's temple, they experienced the Shekinah, which means that they saw yeah. the glory of God. So there is a yeah. place uh, um, in, 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 mm. in your time with God, God that if yeah. you press in far enough, yeah. Jesus. You get it. Yeah. you're going to experience something. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's even in, in, in singing, that's yeah. even in, in playing, that's even yeah. in preaching. Yeah. You know, that, but, but before you get up, before anybody sing and preach, you've got to have that time with God. I know time you do. That's important. Spend time with him. It's important. That is well, so important. I've learned to pray in the spirit a lot. Yeah. Before, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Pray in the spirit a lot. And I, I think when you pray in the spirit a lot, you will, you have encounters too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You have encounters. You yeah. pray in the spirit a lot. Yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, there's benefits. There's benefits to yeah. it. Uh, there's been discussions about it, yeah. but I sing in the spirit a lot, yeah. and I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, the joy of the Lord. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, what God is doing. Yeah, and I'm telling you, after this this pandemic and during 2020, yeah. where God is taking us, yeah. there's a purpose, there's a plan, yeah. and there's a destiny that yeah. He's taking us to. Yeah. Yes, and and you know this. And I, I truly believe, just like when you was talking about encounters, God wants to give us a fresh encounter. Some of us need a fresh encounter. Yes, yes. Some yes. Of you know, fresh some encounter. of and then you know, some of us reason why some of us need a fresh encounter is because we need to be re need to be reconvinced. Right. Yeah. If yeah. that's they, we need to be because when when you have an encounter with God, you know that's notable. Right. undeniable yeah. there's nothing that anybody can and say can to change say you your mind can't talk yeah. you out of it nope. and what that does is stirs hunger in you like okay yeah. i want yeah. i want more yeah, yeah and yeah. and god wants to he wants to give us more he wants us to experience him more yeah. more you know when it's like when you read about um the the patriarchs like abraham isaac yeah. and jacob yeah. joseph um, Elijah, yeah. Moses. Yeah. You know, when when you when you mention them, you mention the God of Abraham, yes. the yeah. God, God of God Isaac, and God Jacob, and yeah. Joseph, right. Moses, yes. the, the God of Elijah, yeah. and. and it wasn't different gods, it's just how he manifests yeah. in his dealings with yeah. them, yeah. and and the encounters yes, yes. that that wow. they that they had. Yeah. You know, like when I when I think about um, David, David had encounters. Yeah, he mm -hmm. did. Matter of fact, because he was out in the in <laughs> worshiping, yeah. God was God was like anoint him. Yeah. And when, when, when Samuel found him, because Jesse didn't even mention him, David no, wasn't even honorably mentioned. I know, yeah. wasn't that all. Wasn't even mentioned. You know, he was tending sheep. 
But when Samuel found him, he found him worshiping him when he looked at his countenance. Oh. He knew, so yeah. God said, now anoint He's him. Yeah. And, and, when, and when Samuel went to Jesse's house to anoint one of his son's king, he held that thing upside down and it yeah, wouldn't even yeah, pour. No, but no, when no. it got to David, yep. wow. yep. it was released. And so that teaches us yeah. that, that when you are a worshiper, yeah. you know, there's an attraction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that God is just like, it's almost like Ooh. you being highlighted. Yeah. And, and God, it's like almost like he see you uh, better. Yeah. In a wall of pork. <laughs> yes, and he, oh, he releases that, yeah. that oil, yes, that, that anointing, that, that presence. But just just like David, David's passion wasn't um, wasn't his 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 gifts and his talents to no. play the harp. Yeah. His his passion was right. God's presence, God. mm -hmm. and I think yeah. I think that that is that is the difference because that goes along with the anointing. Yes. where it's just like my my passion is is not preaching. My passion is not. Passion, my passion, his presence, everything else derives from that yeah, place. Yeah. That's it. That's and I and I think that when when we get back to that. When, when we can get back to your passion yeah. is his presence, yeah. then yeah. everything that's supposed to flow out of you mm -hmm. will be able to flow out of you because there's no blockage. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's the and truth. And he was just talking about David. Yeah. Uh David like he said, he did his praise and worship Listen. out there while he was tending sheep. Yeah. And when you do it, privately yeah. and when you come into the corporate body yeah. you don't have to waste time yeah. right right you stay on the runway a yeah. long time because yeah. people ain't been in god's face yeah, yeah. and it's a struggle yeah. because they repenting because they done, done this, done this, this all week done that, yeah. and then they have to stay on the runway yeah. but right. if you don't have to stay on the runway right go yeah. right on up yeah. because you know when he's there yeah, yeah. Right. you know you, you you're not you're not trying to locate him you no. sense yeah. him because no you, you've been, you've been with, with him, him. You've been with and it's, him. Yeah. it is such a difference when you've been with him yes. versus okay i'm trying to i'm trying to get in where your your lifestyle is that you're with him yeah yeah you know so when he comes in the room you you're know the man yeah. you know you, you you're not trying it's not trying you're not trying to seek and no you know he, you know he's there yeah it's you, easy and it's it's easy, and it's, and it's not Man. a struggle. No, it's you know, not. It's like so so like when 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 you're even when you're preaching, it's not a struggle if you've been with them, yeah. because you you're not really preaching, not so much of what you study, but more of what you've gotten out yeah. of that secret place. Yes, yeah. and what's That's coming right. is coming yeah. out of you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. From the yeah. spirit. It's just like we talked. Let's talk. Let's sung that little short song last week about don't contaminate that secret place. Yes, man, Don't that is so critical. Because <laughs> that secret place is awesome. That secret place is something, I'm telling you. It is something. And we can just so easily contaminate that secret place with the things we do, our lifestyle, the things we do daily. Things we say. You know the things we say. Yeah. It's how we treat people. We can contaminate it. Different ways to contaminate your secret place. Yeah, because it's your atmosphere. Yeah. It's what preserves your life. God's presence oh, yeah. preserves yes, your life. Yes, it does. Yes, I mean, yes. if, if, if you think about it, when Adam and Eve sinned, they got out of that environment, then they aged. Yeah, they sure, sure did. Enough. They sure did. But when they stayed in the, yeah. in the environment of the, 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 presence. the presence of God, the Garden of Eden See, represents no. the presence yes, of God, yes. their, their, no. their, their life yes. was preserved. Yeah. yeah. But when they sinned, yep. that's then they sinned. that's when time... Yep. We begin to catch Time up catch with up, them, yep. and then start aging. They started aging, <laughs> and then uh, sick, yeah. then sick, and and died because everything pertaining to sin, yeah, was working with time. Yes, yeah, yes, it was. Yeah, you know, and and, and it's amazing because even even the Bible says that even when Jacob uh, wrestled with God, it says that I've seen God face to face and my life right. has been preserved. Yeah. To to be face to face with God, God. when the essence what that means that means to be in his presence. Yeah. Yeah. So so when you're playing so when you when you so when you're singing and you're playing right. or you're preaching, you're you're singing and preaching from that place. Yeah, yes. Right. Yeah. It's <laughs> this is like, you know, it's like when when someone sings the song of the Lord, it ain't so much that you 
you you hear the you hear music playing, then you just put words to it just to put in words. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's, no. Like, no. You know, it, 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 it's, it's not like that at all. No. When when the song of the Lord, and I know that you two can attest to this, yeah. when the song of the Lord is coming, it's only coming because you heard it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're hearing it because yeah. the Bible speaks about Him singing over Your us. Your spirit, yeah. yes. Yeah. So so when you hear Him singing over you, and it's, the song of the Lord is nothing more. Then, then you um, hearing what God is singing yes. over you, and then the person that's hearing it is singing that over us. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You see that, and, and God's presence fills fills the room. Oh, but yeah. that, you know, just going back to that secret place, that is critical. Yeah, yeah. it's critical. Yeah. Very critical. Even Very attitudes, critical. attitudes, yeah, attitudes. Yes. Yes. You know, you know, the devil don't come after us with big old things that he know we're not going to do. Yes. Right. Make you have a bad attitude. Yeah. Tore up spirit. Dis yeah. <laughs> Disliking, yeah. hating people, showing hate. Yeah. Not showing God's love. Yeah. He's not going to come after you with drugs and stuff. He's no. know you're not going to take drugs. No. You know you're not going to be getting drunk and stuff like that. He's not going to come after you with that. Mm -hmm. He's going to make you talk about your sister. Yeah, talk. Backstab. Yes. Backbite. So, and yeah. that stuff makes a lot of difference when you come into praise, praise and worship. Yeah, right. Because it's stuff you have to get rid of. That's right. right. You're not going to come into his presence right. with all that. It's stuff that you have to, before you can feel his presence, sometimes, yeah. Lord, forgive me for that. Forgive Lord, me for I'm telling you, right. that's how it works. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, you right. have to clean that stuff you up. Clean it out. Clean if it you want to feel his presence, right. you have to clean out. Clean Listen, out. the Bible says that huh. um, during Ezekiel's. In, in the book of Ezekiel, where it speaks about um, when he saw the will within the will, yeah, his his response was <laughs> one. Ooh, ah, his response was, I thought you was in the temple. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but and I'm just paraphrasing. God said, I left because it's a sin and iniquity. Yeah, so oh, yeah. sin and iniquity causes God's presence to withdraw from us. Yeah. Yes, which yes. means that He doesn't leave completely, but He stands back. Yeah. You know, that's waiting why for you to get it waiting together. for you to get it together. Get it together that's yeah. why when you, that's why when you, this is why you feel different when you ask the Lord to come to your heart sincerely. Is when you ask it, you're not just saying words. No. When you mean it, and you're you're turned away from your sins, you feel different. Why? Because what you've done, you've repented yeah. of that sin. Now His presence comes. Yeah. Yes. Now his yes. Presence comes. Yes. That's why you feel different. That's why you feel yeah. brand new. Yes. You yes. know. That's why you you know you say, "Oh man, I, I was in church. I felt chill bumps." That it's, it's not so much that it's chill bumps. No. It's just you. It's the that electricity of God's presence yes. and power yes. Yes. is what you're sensing. Yeah. Um, Catherine Kuhlman, uh, with with was with uh, she would say don't don't um, Holy Spirit don't don't ever leave me. Yes, yes. yes. Hmm. David said that too. Yep, David yeah. did don't too. Take don't, don't, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Don't take it from me because they he David knew Kafir Kuma the generals knew that the Holy Spirit was key and he can be grieved. Yes, yeah, he can, he be, can be angered. Yeah, you know, and because he's because the Holy Spirit is the one. Yeah, that that gives you gives you the ability to hear yes, the song he does. of the Lord. Yeah. He's the one that will, along with your skill set, that will lead, lead you, you and yeah. guide you in what courts yeah. to, to hit. So, sometimes yeah. it, you you it, sometimes you only go to C. Yeah, sometimes that's you got to go to the mother key. Mm. Oh, that's true. You know, oh, and, yeah. and be able to shift, but that all yeah. happens because you spend time with him. You allow yep. the, the the Bible is clear when it speaks about the Holy Spirit. He said He will lead you and guide, guide you, you to all truth. truth. So anything yeah. that is true, He gonna lead you to. Yeah, that's true. You know, He's gonna and He's gonna guide you. Yeah. You know, on on the song that you sing. That's yeah. why you always lay before the Lord yeah. Yeah. and so get in His presence so that you'll know what to do and what not what to do. To do. Because well, God's know. ultimate purpose is to heal, deliver Set the hurts free. of people. Yeah. It's, it, that's what it's for. Yeah. Yes. What you, what you preached about Sunday about was coming to the house yeah. after prayer and then the praise and stuff. Yeah. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. See, God's ultimate purpose is to heal and deliver mankind. Yeah. Yes. He that's died for us. Yeah. He wants us free. Yes. 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 And that's his purpose. Yeah, he wants yes. free. Yeah. And when we and when we come together, see, because one one thing that I've learned about God, you can get 
powerful impartations in 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 corporately, you know, in praise and worship mm -hmm. yeah. in that atmosphere. Yeah. But certain stuff he'll hold he'll hold back until you get along with him. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. true. That's true. You know, and I believe he does that on purpose in because he time. wants you to come. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. because sometimes we can we can go through the week, don't spend no time with no him, time with and him. we yeah. we get our Jesus on when we get to the church building. Yeah. But <laughs> he wants you. He wants to give you more, more. alone. Yeah. Spending time with him, and it's good that we come together corporately yeah. because you you're taking that presence. That, that you've gotten out of your secret place and you've brought it, yeah. and then I'm bringing it with yours, and yeah. what we do, we're building yeah. a cloud. Explosion. Yeah. Just I, think I, if I, everybody did that. Yeah. Was in God's presence yeah. and brought it with come them. come together. <laughs> that's why, that's why I, I always say this, but I heard um, Pastor Rob Parsley he said this. He said, if don't nobody bring it, know that I brought it. Yeah. Because he dwells within me. Yeah, because yeah. I've been with him. So right. if I'm here, the anointing's here. Yeah, that's true. You know, and that's 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 for anybody that is really spending time yes. with God, getting his spending presence. Time with God. Yeah. You can go and you can go into a place and the atmosphere may not be, but because you're there it's gonna change. Yeah. 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 Why? Because you brought God's presence yeah. and that presence will supersede Yes, the, yes. The, the other presence that's sitting up and that's, that's dry. Because greater is he greater yes. is in you. Oh, yes. 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 The greater yes. one lives in you. Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And it's, all, all, it's about, all about him. It's all about it's him. It's all about him. Yeah. Stretch your hands. Yes. Hands Lord. toward me. Thank you, Lord. Father God, thank we you, just Lord. thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord. We're here with us. Holy Spirit, we, we just thank you for your, 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 your leadership and how you lead us and guide us into all the truth and you teach us what to do and what not to do. We, we, we understand that it's not just about being skillful and talented and gifted, but we need your presence. Yes, we need your presence in our lives. And thank Father God, I, I thank you, Father God, that you are doing miracles. You, you're still healing, you're still delivering, you're still doing miracles. Father God, I thank you for the miracles that have taken place, even during the conversation, because your presence is there with us. And we thank you for how you're moving and what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, we, I pray that you have been blessed by our discussion on the power of praise and worship. Um, listen, we would love for you to come and join us here at Kingdom of Power Ministries here in Port Huron. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove Avenue, Pine Grove Avenue. Um, our Sunday services are at 12 noon at Kingdom of Power Ministries on Sundays. Um, you can catch us on our Facebook Live at 12 and 7.30 on Sundays. And also you can catch our broadcast at 12.30 on Wednesdays and as well. And if you would like to know more about Kingdom Power Ministries, you can always go to our website as well. Um, that website is www.kingdomempower.org.org. Listen, we love you and we thank God for you. We are, and we will continue to be praying for you. And we see you next time for your Kingdom Empowerment. Blessings. Thank you.